Malami indicted Buhari's government. Afani Ferry on federal government declaring state of emergency in Anambra. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. The Yoruba Social Cultural Organization Afani Ferry has described the announcement by the Attorney General of the Federation, Abuba Kamolami that the federal government may declare a state of emergency in an Anambra state as a self indictment Afani Ferrer said Malami's remark was more of a verdict of failure on the part of the federal government to provide security rather than the failure of the Anambra state government. Jari Ajayi, National Publicity Secretary of Afani Ferrer said, to shift the failure blame to the state government is therefore shocking and unfortunate. In a statement he signed, Ajayi said it was in order for the federal government to warn that the incessant violence in the state was unacceptable and may lead to undesirable consequence, but it is a height of blame game and hypocrisy to put all the blame on the state government when it is clear that the main security apparatus in the country are controlled exclusively by the federal government. The highest any state in any state government in Nigeria is allowed to do in terms of security is to set up local vigilante groups who cannot carry equipment necessary to combat insecurity in this 21st century. The kind of weapon they could carry under the present Nigerian law is the type of a person going to hunt for game in the bush. Is the person going to hunt for game in the bush can carry while those they are supposed to confront are armed with almost the most sophisticated weapons available. We all know the game plan. The frightening state of emergency was not because the federal government care about the state, but because the state is controlled by an opposition party and also an avenue to rig the forthcoming state election next month. Is Anambra State more troubled than Northern State, ravaged by terrorists and killer bandits? Uh, I think we will all wait and see. <laughs> we will all wait and see how this plays out. If they truly care or not, we will know soonest. Exactly. No state of emergency declaration in the very troubled Zamfara, Castina, Kaduna and Niger State Axis where mass abductions, killings and wanton destruction of lives and properties at the order of the day by bandits, Boko Haram, and Maradi killer headsmen, reigning supreme. Malami and his hypocritical cal caliphate, Caliba, Kabaos, are beyond shameless as a despotic bunch. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, fine, it is clearly the truth here. This is clearly the truth. I feel, or it is not I feel, declaring... A state of Anambra, a state of emergency, I beg your pardon, in Anambra state is rather too extreme. It is too extreme. When we all know that, um, uh, um, this insecurity issue, yes, it, it, it did not start now in Nigeria. It started a very long time. And they think the federal government is um, not understanding about this insecurity that is going on in Nigeria is that if you don't treat it as it is supposed to, it will spread. Maybe they know what they are just, they just want to play deaf to this particular issue. The thing is, if you don't treat, just like you have a wound on your body, and if you don't treat it, it's pressed to other parts of the body. If you are ill, you don't take off yourself, it affects other organs of your body badly. That is how it is. This insecurity is like a wound that has eaten so deep into, into Nigeria, into the country as a whole. And now you're saying, that you want to leave the most, you want, you, you're supposed to be talking about, I beg your pardon, the root cause. You're supposed to be talking about the root cause right now. Like, where did this start from? Okay, okay, this is what caused it. It started from this, then it started from this. Rather than say you want to declare the state of emergency in a state, when we have other state that is more troubled, other state that even wants the state of emergency to be declared, so that at the end of the day, this um, insecurity that is troubling those citizens over there is going to be brought to an end. And in a state where they, <laughs> in a state where it is, it is, it is, the, st the state now, the state now, yes, they can do little or nothing about it. Blame, they are, they are doing the blame passing game. It is not right. It is not right. 
I feel it is not I feel. It is extreme, too extreme. Too, too extreme. Okay, fine. Except they are going to tell the uh, uh, Nigerians that they are doing this because of the agitation that is happening in the Southeast. That is the only thing I will listen to. And of course, you do not declare a set of emergency on those that are fighting for their freedom. And when I say fighting for their freedom, it is, it is glaring what we are all, what we all want in Nigeria. We want a country where there is equity, first of all. Everybody is equal to, nobody is supreme. We, have, we want a country where there is the rule of law and the supremacy of the law. We want a true democratic state. A, a true democratic nation where I see what is not right, I can air my opinion. I can exercise my fundamental human rights without fear of being attacked. This thing, this particular issue was not treated well. I feel some people, we are, we are, we are favored over the others and I bring it to light. And it is looked into. That is what the democratic state is all about, I beg your pardon. That is what it is all about. But rather than look for the root cause, like I've said, they are declaring a state of emergency, which I feel it will fuel, this, it will fuel it the more, except there is something else we do not know. If truly, truly the federal government wants to deal with insecurity in the country, not just in Anambrasi, because you have to deal with the one that is like, you know, the huge one, before coming to the small one, because if you start from the small one, the huge one will keep eating deep. You have a small wound and you have a big, you have a cut, then you have a deep wound. Which one do you give more attention to? The deep wound. So it will, it will free you. Then you come back to the small one later. That is if the small one is not, is not gone already. The issue of insecurity has been troubling Nigeria for a very, very long time. Like a very, very, very long time. And you know, the government keeps telling us that they are doing all their best. But deep down, I know the governments can really, they can, they can stop this. They can stop this. I'm going to quote one, uh, uh, one quote by Abacha, one statement made by the late um, General Abacha. He said, any insurgency, and I quote, not my words, not my words, any insurgency that lasts for more than 72 hours in a nation that the government has handled it. I am not saying it. This quote was said by the late General Abacha. They should look into this and get it done with. The land is crying. The land is, is red. The, the land that is supposed to be green is now red. And the government seems to be doing very little about it. In fact, this issue, of, this issue now, this decline of serum, is another marginalization. Is another, is another unfairness. On top of the one that has been done before. Sincerely, it is. You are not declaring a sort of emergency in some states where there, there are, it is that state. You can't go there and you can't be passing there and you are, you are not shaking. In fact, who would we even want to pass through those states? And then you are coming to where there is like a far lesser, far, far lesser. And you know, the unrest that is happening in that particular place is just one issue can solve it, just one. Just listen to them and, you know, call them. Let's have a roundtable discussion and prefer a solution. And before you know it, this agitations, this unrest, everything will, die, will quiet down. But you do not want to take it. I do not know why. They are proven to us more that the so-called insecurities we are planned, plotted, and perpetrated by APC and try to push it to IPOP just to declare state of emergency in Anambra and take over the state by force. But the innocent blood they have wasted haunts them forever. This is if this is not we do not know, but if this is this is their aim, it is definitely, definitely not fair. It is injustice upon injustice. This is like adding salt to your injustice, adding more pain. I just wish the go federal government will look for a way out, which is glaring them under the feet. Rather than go and declare a state of emergency in Anambra, they should rather stretch forth their hands of, let us, let us have a round table discussion. And let us see, not just the Anambarians now, you stretch forth your hands of friendship towards the east, so the, towards the south, it's where this unrest are beginning to rise up. And you, 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 you have a round table discussion with them. And at the end of the day, these agitations, I tell you, 
what well, if I listen to them and they listen to you, you find out that this thing is just mere a misunderstanding. Ah, I am feeling marginalized. This is what is causing it. And this is what is causing it. And you know, oh, okay, sorry, okay. This, 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 this will happen from henceforth. And we start seeing improvement. This is what these people want. Nothing more. Immediately there is fairness and equity in the land. I tell you, the agitations, both from the Yoruba nation, both from the Biafra nation, will quiet down. On this note, we have come to the end of the news. Thank you for tuning in to listen. Till I come your way next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.